Good morning, students. Today, we're gonna be learning about density, sinking, floating, and how density plays a major part in if an object will sink or float. Are you ready for this? Let's do it. Relative density. Density is a measure of how heavy something is, its mass, compared to its size, its volume. Relative density is when we compare a substance's density to another substance. And usually we do that using water. <laughs> and of course, that's the next bullet point, water. If an object is more dense than water, it will sink when placed in water. If an object is less dense than water, it will float. And yes, density is a physical property of matter that we get to learn about today. Here we go. Hmm, what is the difference between these two stands? One is very dense because it has a lot of people sitting in the rows. The other picture is less dense because there's only a few people sitting in the rows. There's more stuff, more matter in the picture on the left. Now, how does volume, mass, and density all come together? Volume and mass are physical properties of matter. Together, they are used to find the density of objects. When you are comparing how much matter there is in a certain amount of space, you are finding the object's density. More matter in a small space equals more dense. Less matter in a larger space equals less dense. So if we look at these two squares, which one is more dense? Which one has more matter? If you said the picture on the right, you are correct. There are more little circles on the square on the right than on the left. Hmm, did you know that liquids sink and float too? When you pour together liquids that have different densities and don't mix, they will form liquid layers. The liquid with the highest density will sink. The liquid with the lowest density will float. Which layer has the highest density? Hmm. The green liquid has the highest density. It sinks. Which layer has the lowest density? Hmm. The yellow liquid has the lowest density. It floats. Will a ball of clay sink or float? Hmm, let's see. Does changing the amount of material in an object change the object's density? Hmm, let's see. So, does changing the amount of material in an object change the object's density? No. Do you think clay is more dense than water or less dense than water? What is its relative density compared to water? Hmm. If you said more dense, you are correct. That's why it sinks. Will a popsicle stick sink or float? Hmm. Does changing the amount of material in an object change the object's density? Let's see.
No, it does not. Do you think popsicle sticks are more dense than water or less dense than water? Less dense. That's why popsicle sticks float. Now, here's a good trivia fact for you. If I had a swimming pool big enough for Saturn and I threw Saturn into the swimming pool, do you think it would sink or float? It would actually float. Saturn is less dense than water, so it would actually float. Hmm, now just to find a swimming pool big enough to throw Saturn in, that would be a fun experiment. Good job, scholars. You did a great job learning about relative density, an object's density compared to another substance. Usually we compare it to water to see if it will sink or float. I've had a lot of fun. I hope you have too. Until next time.